Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So today's class, today's lectures is going to be very interesting. Why? So today we are going to learn the how to find the a square root of a non-perfect square numbers. Students, they are, they are very much familiar to find out the square root of a perfect uh, square number. But they have a problem to find out the square root of a non-perfect square number. Okay. Uh, so today in this video, we are going to learn how to find out the square root of a non-perfect square number. As you see in the title on the board. Right. So in that case, so it's 14. 14 is a non-perfect square number, right? 14 is a non-perfect square number. We are going to find out the square root of 14. In that case, what you have to do, you have to find out the nearest perfect uh, perfect square number of 14. So nearest perfect square number of 14 is 9. Yes or no? 9. 9 is a perfect square number which is nearest to the 14, right? So, this one you consider this is x, 14 is x and this one you consider that is y. Now, we are going to use a formula that is x plus y by 2 under root y. This is the formula you have to remember to find out the square root of a non-perfect square number. Right here, we have considered x is 14, so put the values of 14. We have considered y is 9, so put the values of 9 here. 2, now here, square root of 9, because the y is 9. So, square root of 9, that will give you 3, right? Square root of 9 is 3. 14 plus 9, that will give you, what? 23. So 3 to the 6 in the denominator. So, if we divide, uh, you will get 3.833. So you can take 3.8. So this is the answer for square root of 14. And 14 is a non-perfect square number. So by applying this formula, we can easily find out the square root of a non-perfect square number. I hope it's clear for everyone. Uh, those who are having difficulty to find the square root of a non-perfect square number they can easily remember now can they can easily find out the answer by by remembering this formula the thing is that you have to remember this formula they can then you can easily find out the square root of any non-perfect square number so thank you for watching i hope it's clear to everyone